Hello and welcome to a 7 minute Savage 2 melee guide. This will be going at quite a speed but I'm sure you'll be able to pick up some good tips. We start off with basic movement. This includes the sprint, charging and dodging. As with most martial arts and fighting styles, movement is the key to victory. In addition to using the shift key to allow your character to sprint back and forth, use the right mouse button key with a direction to dodge side to side and backwards. In combination with the forward key this will also let you give quick bursts of speed allowing you to attack the enemy's back. In general in combat, keep moving trying to circle your enemy and get him into a good spot for you to attack from. A static target is always easier to hit, so keep light on your feet and keep moving. Use the sprint, charge and dodge functions to do this. Now on to the basic attack set that you have in Savage 2. These are the quick attack, power attack, jump attack and block. Quick attacks are usually the first two hits of any character. They are quick to land and do light damage. The final attack in all combos is a lot slower and leaves you open to counter attack but is very powerful. Jump attacks take time and use stamina, but can push enemies back. Finally you have block, represented by a white bar above the character's head. Having your block broken will slow you down and debuff you, so is best avoid it. A successful block will give you a brief speed boost, so be sure to use it in counter attack. Certain characters, such as the scout or shapeshifter, have a 4 attack combo, 3 quick attacks followed by the power attack. Also to note that their dodge and jump attack have different animations and different styles to other characters. A good melee fighter uses all of these and is unpredictable in their use. Quick attacks, power attacks, jump attacks and block together with movement. In summary, use all of the attacks and block available. Be unpredictable and anticipate your opponent. An extremely powerful but often underused facet of Savage 2 is the skills of R and the inventory. Here is an example of a predator against a legionnaire, just using the three button attack. As you can see, the predator emerges victorious, but it is a very close fight. Now we see the same fight except making use of the skills bar. We use skill 6, 7 and 5, and then skill 4 on the legionnaire. As you can see, the fight takes a much different turn, and the predator wins with over half health. All units have very useful skills available, so be sure to use them regularly in combat as long as you have the mana. The inventory in the bottom right means that you can purchase powerful items to use, and hence when you have the gold, you should stock up on these items to increase your fighting ability. All different units have a different set of skills which can be seen by pressing the Y key. Learn which items suit you and where the skills are best used. I'm now going to explain a few styles in Savage 2 which, although possible, do not make full use of the game. The first of these is Ranger. This game is not a first person shooter, it is mainly melee orientated. By standing and shooting at enemies, you leave them for them to run up and kill you. Please note that this is in practice mode with a quite stupid AI, and yet, standing still or moving around backwards and shooting means you will die. The second of these is Turtle. Blocking is useful, but over blocking is not. Yes, your enemy may take some time to kill you, but if the best you can say is that you slowed them down before you died, I think you're missing the point of the game Savage. Use block, but then counter attack your enemy. The final one of these I want to bring up is the runner. These are those who may start a fight in good earnest, but then, for some unknown reason, decide that they need to run away. Remember in Savage you can respawn in 15 to 30 seconds. So fight to the death, maybe you can actually score some more kills instead of being hit in the back. Again, these are just my opinions, but if you are playing as one of these three styles, I don't think you're making the most of the game. In comparison, I thought I'd touch on a few of the styles that I think get the most out of Savage 2. One of these is Defender. This is a useful kind of style for healers. Using block and dodge a lot to avoid enemy blows, getting counter attacks in when necessary, but also gaining enough room so that you can use your healing and resurrection skills. This isn't over blocking, this is good play. The second of these is the Tank style. This uses all your skills and items available 
to cause as maximum damage as possible on opposing players. The war also involves throwing yourself into as many battles as possible, so expect to die a lot, but co take cause a lot of damage on the opposition whilst you do so. Notice I also use range here, but only in addition to my melee fighting. There is the Wasp style, which is a most annoying style to play against, but a valid one nonetheless. This usually uses a scout or a shapeshifter to run far behind enemy lines and cause as much trouble as possible. Drawing away defenders from other areas of the map, staying out of reach whilst all the while causing damage. If you like to run and dodge, why not try this kind of style and cause damage behind the enemy lines instead of drawing them back towards your home base. The final type of style I can't easily show in warm-up, and that is Demolisher. That is where the player focuses all their damage on enemy buildings. In this game, killing buildings is one of the key points of the game. And focusing on destroying buildings will be extremely helpful for your team. So now you just have to see which unit and which style suits you the best. Practice with all units on both sides. Don't limit yourself to just being beast or just being human. There are units on both sides which are a lot of fun to play with. Use all types of attacks. Block, jump attack, dodge, charge. Combine them all together. Use the skills bar, use the inventory bar. Every unit has its own strengths and weaknesses which you can find out and employ to best use. The Savage Melee 2 system is tricky and hard to get used to. However, once you learn the nuances, you'll find that this is an excellent melee system with an excellent game. Make use of the forums to ask any questions you might have. Or go onto the duel server and ask one of the veterans to duel you and give you tips. Fighting against the AI will only get you so far. Above all, enjoy the game of Savage 2 and recommend it to your friends. It's got a unique style that isn't found anywhere else, and it's free. For more details and forums, go to savage2.com or playsavage2.com. Hope they found this somewhat useful.